we can get inside the map room and find where the Order of the Fang is hiding. I have to gather some notes and then I'll meet you inside the map room. See you there! Hey everyone, this is the Night Phoenix, and you're watching part 66 of my Wizard 1-1 playthrough. Alright, so I'm getting about done with the with the uh, Pyramid of Fire. All, uh, Pyramid of the Sun, I mean. <laughs> All that's left to do is the dungeon located in the Palace of Fire. And battle Croc and Common. Alright, so. Throne Room of Fire can lo is located in the Palace of Fire. Uh, you can go either left or right. It doesn't really matter. The quest helper tells you to go right, but I choose to go left just to uh, go against what the quest helper says. And here is the door leading to the throne room. So I'll enter that now and get right into the dungeon. Alright, so right off the bat you'll see uh, creatures called the Nerini Heirs. You do not have to fight them. You can if you want to, if you want to, you know, gain some experience, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. So just head down the corridor and talk to Professor Winthrop. There you are! I've got my notes now! Let's get to work tracking down the Order of the Fang, shall we? We'll most likely need the use of the Serpent's Staff, so I'll trust you to procure one for us. According to my notes, the Order of the Fang used magic to hide their location. Only by using a powerful artifact in this map room can we undo their spell. There! That slot must be where the Serpent's Staff would go. And I remember Prince Manu Nerini swung it at my head when the Tuts attacked. I'd rather not have a repeat of that. Could you go down the hall and battle Prince Manu Nerini for the Serpent Staff? We must set things right. Alright, so now time for me to go and battle my first boss of this area. Alright, so Prince Manu Nerini is just located down this hallway. Should be very easy to get to. You'll know when you get there, when you see four brazers outside the door, which is like a little test in order to open up the door. So you'll pass some croca mummies. You'll have you'll battle them when you go against Prince Manu. Uh, I already know how to get it. open the door, but for you, I'll look at the book. None shall pass through the door unless all the braziers burn with red flames. All right, so an easy thing to do: just touch the braziers until they turn red. The storm ones turn red after one touch. The ice after two. And as soon as you do that, the door will open. And you'll be able to battle Prince Manunarini. You are in the presence of royalty. Bow or suffer my wrath. Alright, so I need to make sure I have the right spells. I seem to. Uh, this is actually a really good place to find reagents, like the uh, parchment. So if you want to come here for that, you can. Uh, okay, so why don't I get right into the battle? Here's Prince Manu Narini. He's a fire boss. Uh, I don't really consider him all that powerful. He does not know weakness, however, his minion does. His minion is the uh, Croco Mummy, which you've seen in the hallways. Uh, it does know weakness, but for me, he rarely ever uses it. Most of the time, he'll use his own physical attack like he's doing right now. But most of the time, he'll use his own death spells. He will at least use weakness uh, once in my battle. So I'm gonna end up killing Prince Manu Narini first, instead of what I usually do, which is defeat the minion first. But I thought Manu might consider it, be considered more of a threat. Uh, so I'm gonna use an evil snowman with the. Uh, ice Trap, which does quite a bit of damage, enough so that I only need to do a uh, Snow Serpent, at least. Uh, and there goes the Kakumi using his own physical attack again. Alright, so I'm doing pretty good for the first part of this dungeon. Uh, I have Frost Beetle, and I will use that to kill Prince Monomarini. But, I fizzle. 
So now I have to waste even more pips. And now he finally used weakness. It's the only time he ever uses it on me. But it doesn't really matter. I can easily kill him, kill a Prince Manu with a single Snow Serpent. So I don't fizzle, and even with the weakness, he's dead. So that leaves the Crocodile. He drops me. I'm not, not really caring all that much right now. I do have tower shields, so I'll just get rid. Of, I'll use up one, just in case he decides to use Banshee. But for some reason, I don't know why, he decides to go for a Cyclops, but fizzles. So I'm somewhat happy about that. Uh, I'll go with the Fire Elf, just to lower down his health a little bit. Enough so that I can use an Evil Snowman. And I believe he'll use Banshee right after this. So that Tower Shield wasn't used in vain. Yep. Okay. 155, not too bad. Now, time to defeat Crocker Mummy. So we'll trap him. And a single snowman after the uh, fire, tra uh, fire Elf spell should be good enough to kill this guy. Uh, he also knows Thunder Bats. Uh, not too bad. It's probably as powerful as the uh, Banshee. I think it actually is. I can't remember the exact power Thunderbats does, but eh, I don't really care. I'm killing him. And finally, this battle is done. So even if this didn't kill him, the uh, Fire Elf spell would still finish him off. So Prince Not Manu is gone. So before I travel to Winthrop, I'm going to collect this parchment because I need it for when I do the uh, crafting quest for Crocotopia. You could have actually left a port mark by Professor Winthrop. I didn't think about it. I didn't... What the... Some cat just puked behind me. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, and yet disturbing at the same time. So I'm just going to collect a little bit more health. I think I already have enough, yep. So really all I need is mana. I will not use any potions for this because I managed to do well without it. There, there's enough mana and health wisps to heal yourself. Alright, so now I'll just go and talk to uh, Professor Winthrop. Good work! Now to use the staff. We'll soon figure out the order's secret location. It's no use. The staff isn't working. What could I have done wrong? Professor Winthrop stares at his notes in frustration, then looks up suddenly with a bright gleam in his eye. That's it. In ancient times, the Eye of Croc was placed here in this room, but Croc and Common recently took it in a show of power. You must go further into Croc and Common's lair, defeat him, and take back the Eye of Croc. Then we can find the Order of the Fang at last. Awesome. I leveled up. I rarely ever do that until after this dungeon, but oh well. I'm happy. That means I'm doing really well with this wizard. Alright, so time to battle Croc and Common. I left a par uh, port mark next to Winthrop because it is a pretty long distance. I mean, later on after you defeat Croc and Common, that gate will open. But I still wanted it to be a short, and plus, I don't think I really. I didn't think I really needed to use a whole lot of mana for this fight. But I managed to at least get close to full mana. Alright, so here's another little test to open the door. I'll go to the book right now. Where the two suns shine, the way will be clearer. But not if there is any moon shining. Alright, so another simple test. Just turn off all the moon tablets, or obelisks, and turn on all the suns. I've occasionally, when doing this dungeon, had problems because as soon as I turn on a sun, the moon turns on again, and I don't know why that happens. I don't know if it's a little glitch or something, or if it's timed, I'm not sure. But I had some trouble with that. Alright, so, finally on the other side of the door. Uh, you'll see the, uh, these uh, spirits, you don't need to fight them. 
And right off the bat, I find Croc in common, which is great. Uh, there are two creatures you could get him with as minions, but I get the uh, Narini Ancient Guard, which is good, I guess. So this is uh, Croc in common. He knows Black Mantle, which I think this might be the first time you ever battle something that knows the spell. If you don't know what it is, it just uh, lowers the accuracy of your spells. Uh, I managed to get the, uh, like I said, Narini Ancient Guard. There's one other creature that you could get as his minion, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, I'm glad that this battle starts with me, because if it started with him, more than likely I would have had a lot more trouble. So, unlike the uh, Prince Manunarini battle, I'll be killing off the minion first. I consider him more of a threat than Croc and Common. Uh, about the Black Mantle, I don't think he ever uses that in my battle. But the easiest way to get rid of that would be to either use a level 1 spell, like for me would be Frost Beetle, or you could use your own wand spell to get rid of it. Preferably your wand spell in case you have any like traps or blades on you or the enemy, so that you don't have to waste any of those. Uh, so, when you use Locust Swarm on the uh, guard, doesn't kill it quite. Uh, I do enough damage though to be able to kill it off with one uh, clash. So he's going to trap me, that's a wasted effort, I'm just going to kill him now. Uh, Sadly for me, I don't have a Clash, so I'm going to have to waste one mana. A little bit of mana just to cast a Frost Beetle. I don't fizzle, so the guard's dead, which I'm happy about. Now I can focus on Croc and Common. Uh, Croc and Common's strongest attack, I think, is the Sunbird. Though I think he doesn't use it in my battle. If he does, it's near the end, and I just completely forgot about it. So what I plan on using is Evil Snowman mixed with an Ice Trap, believing that that's enough to kill him, but I don't think it does. From right, I almost use it, but I think I fizzle. Let me see. Nope, I use it. Okay, so Evil Snowman time. This will nearly kill it. A good Snow Serpent, as long as it doesn't fizzle, is enough for me to kill him. So this will be his final attack, depending on if I fizzle or not. So luckily I have the uh, Snow Serpent, and I'm able to use that to kill him. So really this dungeon, normally it would take me a while to do it, and if it starts with the uh, bosses first, I would most likely be killed by Croc and Common. But it started with me, so I'm happy. Alright, so after collecting the Eye of Croc, I can teleport back to Professor Winthrop and show it to him. Splendid! We have the Eye of Croc! Since you defeated Croc and Common and Prince Manunarini, you deserve the honor of discovering the Order of the Fang. Go on! Take the Eye of Croc and the Serpent Staff and place them in the slots on the platform. Then, repeat the ancient words I taught you. Alright, so the last part of the uh, dungeon, just head up to this area and put in the sta uh, staff. the professor says, and shout the ancient words, al Kazam. A bright light flashes, and with a crackle, the map reveals the secret meeting place of the Order of the Fang. Alright, that's it for this part. I'll see you in part 67. You've done it! The secret location of the Order of the Fang is revealed! Never would have thought to look there. It's on another island. I need to gather one or two other things here. Meet me back in the Altar of Kings. We can continue from there.